Ah, welcome to another video. Uh, I know that uh, leveling uh, has been kind of weird. You know, the update 4, you know, with the roaming NPCs and whatnot. The non bandit beat request where you have to like wait for a cargo NPC to show up and then you have to take that cargo NPC to the cargo vendor or whatever it is and then you get the then you get your EXP only gives you like a fourth of your EXP bar. I wasn't having that. So I accidentally I actually discovered this method by accident. It's not really I didn't really discover it because it was always there, but no one really capitalized on it because in update three everybody was already max level. So now it's actually useful. I did post a video on how to solo a sea beast uh, with purely one SS, and this will be kind of like that, but that's that's a trick. You get as much EXP as a sea beast health, so or the sea beast HP. So let's say you need 3,000 EXP to level up. You solo a sea beast, and I'm pretty sure they have 15,000 EXP. That's five levels. For one sea beast if you can kill a sea beast in four minutes that's how you level up really fast that's how i got from level 325 to 425 in like 45 minutes or an hour or so and i'm going to show you guys how to get there and the fastest way to spawn in a sea beast now me personally i have 40,000 bounty if obviously this method will be slower if you don't have high bounty but you know, the higher bounty you have, the more sea beasts will spawn in. For me, literally, they spawn, they spawn in the moment I spawn in my boat after it's destroyed. So uh, I recommend having high bounty, otherwise, although, or someone with you that has high bounty, otherwise, this method will not work out for you. So in order to get to rough seas, from let's say if you if you've already gotten to a second sea and you're you're like, uh, this leveling process isn't very fast for me. Come back to the first seat, you'll spawn here, I'm pretty sure. You wanna to get to this tree, you wanna kinda of line yourself up with this tree and head about this direction. Mostly north, but like kinda of northeast, more north than northeast, like 75% north. Then you head straight and then you run to the rough waters and then this will also be a guide to show you how to get to second C if you haven't already been. Obviously, if you haven't been to second C yet, you want to talk to that monkey over. He's behind the lighthouse. This guy right here. His animation is broken right now. Maybe he's not loaded in. But you talk to him, and uh, he'll give you the quest. Obviously, for me, I don't know why the animation is broken, uh, but I've already done the quest, so. He's opening the gate for me right now. But if you haven't done the quest, and obviously you talk to him, I'll give you the quest, and then you need to go get the world scroll, which I'll show you how to do, and then simultaneously how to farm sea beasts with two SS at least. If you can solo a sea beast without two SS, great, this method will work for you. If you have like black leg or something, I don't know if you can pull it off or not, because I, I don't personally use black leg. But if you can figure it out, bro, good, good going. So I'll see you guys over there. Yo! Anima. Can't even despawn my ship. Alright, well, I guess we'll just get thrown right into it. Uh, obviously, block his attacks. Don't use. Don't bother using Raging World unless you're just trying to get closer to him. Look how trash that damage is. Look how, ba look how bad that is. Don't even bother using Raging World. Now, the trick is with this you can actually M1 C Beast now. Believe it or not, you see, I'm getting hits. Gosh, so the thing with two assess is that against sea beasts, do you see that damage? Nitro strike hits like 11 times instead of two, which is kind of busted. It does like at least like a thousand five hundred damage. I may have seen that wrong. I don't think Roshaman Draw does the same thing, but. It still does, it still has really good damage. So the method the methodology is just really just end with with anything spam your skills. 
Whoa. So I guess 72 caliber Phoenix also stacks. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, you want to keep using your skills. You want to keep m one in the sea beast. This is already how long has it been? Like 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 forty five seconds. He's basically dead already. You keep this up. It's real, it's real simple. And then after you've managed this much damage, uh, you'll get fifteen thousand exp. And maybe if you don't have a sea beast drop, gives you maybe gives you reason to farm for it. There he is. That is dead. Uh, now I kind of lost where I was, so I'm actually gonna have to reset and then try to find the the shrine for the world scroll for those of you who still need it. So give me a second. But uh, if you already have the world scroll, there you go. You can stop watching the video right now. That's that's the methodology. That that got me three levels every single time I killed him, and that took barely any time. So I suggest, and it gives decent sending too, so I suggest farming sea beasts, definitely, definitely, definitely the best method for leveling as of right now. Uh, and I'll, I'll be doing a, maybe a PvP video, or a just review video on 2SS right now. It's kind of shaky because Foyu keeps nerfing and buffing it because it was weird. Like, uh, Raging World used to do like 300 damage, and it used to be a combo extender, so it would be really OP. Uh, now it does like 60 damage. It's just purely a combo extender now. Uh, but, you know, I'm not even too mad at that. Because it is a combo extender. And sword class, the only sword class on this set doesn't even have that. So, uh, But yeah, uh, I appreciate you watching. For those of you who still want to know where the world scroll, scroll is, just stick around a little bit longer. But the rest of you. I don't know, I think about it. How, how am I even going to get to the world scroll if a sea beast spawns the moment I hit rough seas? Well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Can't even despawn my ship, man. Bro. This way, right? I will swim. I will swim there. It might also help to turn up your graphics to max. Uh, so that you can see the pedestal or whatever this the world scroll is on. Uh, Cause you don't want to miss it. It's really tiny, for some reason. Oh, that! Hey, there it is. I wasn't even that far away. All right, and there's the world scroll. You can't really see it. Where's my? It's so dark. The the light, the lantern on your head doesn't even light up the area. Well, that's uh. Here's a world scroll, obviously you can grab it. Oh, can I even grab this? I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, that's a world scroll, that's how you get to it. You take that, you take it back to the monkey, you give it to him. He'll say he, he, he's, he'll accept that you've been mentally farmed. And uh, you'll have a uh, passage to the second world. But I honestly, I wouldn't even recommend going over there yet because uh, it's just not good for leveling. Uh, the only thing it's useful for is uh, getting V2 hockey or to assess in my opinion and obviously farming the new bosses like Kraken and stuff I don't think Kraken can show up in first C But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, I'm gonna kill the sea beast and I'll see you guys in the next video